morning, everyone. Hola. Hola. Congratulations to each and every one of you. We are so proud and so excited to be part of your big day. I feel like I should be facing you. So we are so excited that you have completed this program. You are a pilot program, so you're going to be the first of many, many seniors that go after you. So I want to thank you so much for leading the way. You have led the way in so many things. You have built this city. You have raised your families. You have built the parks and the schools. And now you're leading the seniors into technology. So I don't know if you realize this, but only about 20% of seniors use the internet. So as you go forward, you will lead the way to talk to your friends, your neighbors, and say, hey, it's terrific. And it allows you to connect with your family. It, it allows you to go onto Google and learn all kinds of wonderful things. So I just want to say to you, Thank you. I want to say congratulations and thank you again and again for all that you do and all that you will do. And I'd like to thank Tina Baxter and Connected Living for bringing this program to us. I think it's very, very, very important that these seniors know how much they are supported. Because this is scary. Mm -hmm. This is not something that comes easily. And no one likes to fail. So. You know, allowing yourselves to be quote unquote guinea pigs for a program that, um, you know, it, it has a success rate, but going forward, you'll be part of a documentation of its success. So I encourage you to continue to use your laptop. So much money. Don't give them to your grandchildren, <laughs> keep them hidden well. Um, and just make sure that you use this technology to your benefit um, and the benefit of your, your friends and neighbors. So going forward, go with Godspeed. I know you're going to receive your diplomas now. So I'll invite um, Margaret Smith Rose and Angela to come forward, your center directors, to present you with your certificates. Mm -hmm. That's the first time I came here to talk about connected living. And you guys just looked at me like I was crazy. We're going to do what? We're going to be on computers, right? What do you do now? Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to thank you all for believing in me and believing what we do at Connected Living. We teach seniors all over the country how to use technology. Our program was specifically designed for you. But our program is only as good as its participants. So if you hadn't believed in me and, and decided to do this for yourselves, whatever your motivation was, we just have an empty lab. So thank you for, for being involved. I want to share um, something with you. I recently lost my grandmother. My grandmother raised me and she died just before Easter. And so because of this uh, this recent Mother's Day weekend, I was, I've been thinking a lot about her and just kind of the words of wisdom that she's imparted uh, in my life. So I think about a time when I was dating a really bad guy. <laughs> and, uh, and, and everybody in my family was really panicked about it. And she just looked at me and said, Honey, when you get sick and tired, that's what she said. Right? Right. So then uh, there was a time in my life when I just kind of wanted to do my own thing and chart my own path. And, and she said to me, she says, Honey, she said, Bought sense is better than told. That's all she said, right? And then later in life, after my children started to grow up, my son, who is now 25 years old, his senior year, kind of went through this thing. And I called her and I said, Graham, I'm so panicked. I said, uh, you know, he's just getting in some trouble. It's not like him. I don't know what to do. And she says, honey, I said, I'm concerned that he's going to destroy his life. He's going to ruin his life. And she said, honey, his story is not over. It's simply not so. So that's become my mantra lately. When someone says I can't do something, I say my story is not over. It's simply not so. When someone says I'm not good enough, I'm not small enough, I'm not tall enough, 
I can't do it, I say to myself, my story is not over. It's simply not so. And so I want to impart that on you today. It's just some words of encouragement to keep you mobilized and to keep you thinking about this, this trail that you blazed. Because you blazed the trail here. You have now set the path for other seniors to involve themselves in technology, to stay connected to the world at large. So the next time someone gives you a challenge, or the next time you sit in front of that computer and you can't quite remember how to do something, I want you to remember those words that my grandmother left with me. Your story is not over. It's simply not so. All right. of this group of people, uh, as Ms. Gallagher alluded to, you, you're, you're the first. You're the first to make this happen. So I want you to continue to use your technology. I want you to grab your friends that are in the, in the centers with you every day and encourage them to get on board too. I am commissioning each of you, I'm making you ambassadors for Connected Living, to go out and grab the next person and bring them on this ride. Because it's been a good ride, hasn't it? Yes. 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 Congratulations. We're excited. Don't stop. Keep learning. And we'll see you again when, when, when we celebrate the next graduation. Come back and say hello. Yeah. Yeah. Now we have some and my turn.
Hello, everyone. Hello. We have a fan on the south side that, uh, you know, when you've done all you can, all you do is just stand. Okay. So I'm standing here looking at my students here and realizing that uh, this is a great opportunity for them, and a lot of them have struggled through this program. Matter of fact, I'm struggling right now trying to get a seat. <laughs> wow. So uh, this, this, this is really a great moment, and I am very pleased to be your instructor. I hope you bring more people to the program and we can go forward, okay? I have made changes to our program at Abbott Park. You will find that if you go back to Abbott Park, <coughs> and look in a folder called Students Folder, you will see a lot of the lessons there where you can go into the student folder and get these lessons. And if that's not enough for you, you can always go to your email, and I have downloaded a lot of lessons. There is still a lot for us to learn, and we will continue to go forward. Thank you. Now the students. So Maggie, you want to come forward and give your testimony? I'm a bit nervous, but I have to represent my class. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Maggie Laddick, and I took interest in this computer class because I wanted to learn new ways of communicating with people. Senior citizens such as me who have worked 25 years or more on a job, uh, which, required, which, which did not require us to have computer skills. Now that we are retired, we are confronted with the reality that we live in an electronic world, and most of everything involves a computer. Mm -hmm. It's no secret that internet is becoming an intimate part of our every, everyday lives. But if you are new to the online experience, it can be a bit overwhelming. The internet is a wonderful tool to communicate, communicate with family and friends, build a social network. You can also send out invitations, keep up with what's going on in your community, send and reveal email, receive emails, look up directions, pay bills, listen to music, and even watch live TV. <laughs> oh, there are so many things you can do on, on the online world. A few years ago, my granddaughter went to Spain to study for the summer. Uh, she set up a software called Skype. We was allowed to talk to her over the computer. I thought that was great because we was able to actually see her and know she was safe and having fun, uh, put our, which put our mind at ease. Did I forget to mention, this is a free software. This is a new age of technology offers to so many, that offers so many communication options. I especially liked our class because it made it simple to access the internet. We was, on a, we was only a few steps from being connected to our family and friends. The first thing we learned was the basic fundamental of uh, turning on the computer. You know, for some people that sounds crazy, but <laughs> you know, you know, we, we had a hard time turning on the computer. <laughs> As indicated, and you know, I passed out some uh, things to my class, you know, that uh, we also um, learned how to locate and click the big E <laughs> to access the internet. Then we located the web browser, which half of us didn't know what that was. You know, so that we could put our www.connect.net. <laughs> we did have to type in our user's name and password, which was our name for both, thank God. <laughs> and once we typed that in, we clicked the sign in button. After signing in, it took us directly to our home page. Everything was accessed from that page. <laughs> we could get the internet, play music. We, did all, we all did a short story about something that happened in our childhood. We learned how to compose an email and send it to others. We had a profile. We did a profile on ourselves. Uh, we went to YouTube and listened to Nat Cain Cole and Benny Goodman. Uh, we even learned how to download pictures. <laughs> we all had fun learning and helping each other. That was a great opportunity for us to get connected and stay connected with the world. 
We hope that programs like this one continue to be offered here. We also would like a keyboard class because <laughs> our senior didn't know the keyboard, which created difficulties. <laughs> but I know when they hit their computer, they will invest in my, Mavis Bacon, which is a typing teacher, to learn the keyboard. Last but not least, I'd like to thank Ms. Allison for taking the time to work and have patience with us. Thank you.
This is the laptop. This is the desktop, the refurbished from PCR that the uh, graduates will receive.